I'm Corey Schmitz from PhotographingSpace.com. I'm going to show you how to use the EZNR Photoshop Action Pack for astrophotography. You can download EZNR at PhotographingSpace.com. first thing you need to do is install the action. So I'm going to find the EZNR zip file that I downloaded from photographingspace.com and I'm going to decompress it. Inside the zip file is a folder. Inside the folder are the files that you need. The one we care about the most is the ATN file, EZNR. The other files included are the license, the FAQ, and the installation instructions. But remember we only care about the ATN file for now. Then open up Photoshop and open up the image that you want to edit. You think you finished, but you want to add a little bit more noise reduction. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on the image. There's quite a bit of noise here, and so I want to fix that. So I'm going to install EZNR into Photoshop. I click the Actions to open up the Actions panel, and then I open up the menu. It's these lines up here. I click that. I then click Load Actions and I navigate to the folder where I expanded the EZNR zip file. I select the ATN file, that's the action, and then I click Open. You can now see that EZNR is listed under the actions. Now there are four different levels of noise in EZNR. Light, medium, heavy, and extreme. Now if I look at my image here. I'm just going to start with medium. So what I do is I select the background, I select the layer that I want to apply the action to, then I select medium noise, and then I press play. In the background, it's going to go through all the motions with the camera raw filter and some other special stuff that we've done like masking, and it's going to do the noise reduction. Now I can zoom in more on my image and see what it's done by deselecting the layer, the visibility of the layer, turning it off and turning it back on. So I can see what it's done. And that's done a pretty good job. But what I usually like to do is do a couple of iterations to see if I can make it just a little bit better. So I'll select medium noise, the medium noise layer, then I'll go into the actions, select the light noise just for a little bit more. I'm going to zoom in even more so I can really see what's going on here. Okay, this is a good spot to do it. Okay, now I'm going to select light noise and I'm going to press play. I'm going to look at this area and see when it's finished, it's just a little bit better, slightly slight enough for me and now that's all there is to it. We've used EZNR to reduce the noise. You can go through all the different levels of noise reduction and try each one and stack them on top of each other and then just you've got your final image. So what I really like to do at the end is zoom in, select the background, keep it visible and then select my final layer and keep it visible and then toggle the visibility of the final layer to see the before and the after. And you can see the stars have maintained all their clarity but the noise in the background has been smoothed out. It's that easy.